Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angela, and today it is finally, finally time for another damn bookstore vlog. I first learned about the Hoover Dam when I was in late elementary school. It was true in middle grade series called Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This was something that was very near and dear to my heart at the time. It is a series that still brings me a lot of nostalgia. The Hoover Dam makes an appearance in the third book, which is the Titan's Curse. I'm gonna share with you the description that made me go to the Hoover Dam a decade later. We had to walk for almost an hour before we found a path that led up to the road. It came up on the east side of the river. Then we straggled back toward the dam. It was cold and windy on top on one side a big lake spread out ringed by barren desert mountains on the other side the dam dropped away like the world's most dangerous skateboard ramp down to the river 700 feet below and water the churn from the dam's vents a little bit after that description there's a comedic scene between a lot of the main characters and they talk about going to the dam snack bar and getting some damn fries finding the damn t-shirts i just remember laughing about that as a child but also really really wanting to visit for the architectural elements of the hoover dam and this is what inspired me to look it up when I was much younger. Seeing it in real life was just immense. I basically ran around the Hoover Dam area living out my little Percy Jackson dreams from when I was a kid and it was just so much fun to visit and learn so much. There is a presentation that you can watch. There was also an exhibit area with so many placards and so much information. It just felt so cool to see this marvel in real life. About 10 minutes away from the Hoover Dam was was a bookstore called The Dam Roast House and Browder Books and this was located in Boulder City and that was the bookstore that I ended up visiting. I really, really loved this bookstore. It's primarily a cafe. It was so cozy yet minimalistic. There were very few bookshelves, but what they had was quite carefully selected. And I do know that they rotate out some of the books as well. Some of their coffees on the specialty menu, the names are inspired by the Hoover Dam. This is quite a common gimmick in the area, but I did like that they included the meaning behind each of the specialty coffees. The coffee that I had was some of the best coffee that I have ever had. The seating there was so so comfy it is the kind that you just want to curl up with the book that you've got and just sit there for hours upon hours upon hours it's the kind of store that you can really get lost in the ambiance of it the book that i picked up was down and across this is a young adult contemporary novel that follows scott who runs away to washington dc in search of the meaning of success he is at a point in his life where he feels like he can't commit to anything but he wants to so he heads down to find a professor professor Mallard who researches grit and he wants to get gritty. I really like the concept of the book. I love the pacing of it. The pacing of it felt very much like a John Green novel. I liked the tone of the story a lot more. It felt like a very realistic teenage tone. There were nuggets of wisdom. There were also these moments of uncertainty and there was a little more humility. I liked Scott as a character. He wasn't my favorite character in the story but he wasn't my least favorite character either. That award goes to Fiora. I did not like Fiora at all. She felt like a manic pixie dream girl. For 
one thing I did really like that was attributed to Fiora's character that made this book very interesting was the cruciverbalist portion. Fiora is very into crosswords. Love how crosswords became a symbol throughout this book and how it was used. I think it just definitely added something very unique to the book. Towards the end of this book, there are excerpts that Scott writes about grit and he does these shallow dives into gritty figures and some of the people I had never heard of before and it was nice to get introduced to them and what their stories of success were. It was interesting to see how those particular stories impacted Scott and what he learned from those stories. Trent was my favorite character in this story. He was just such a refreshing character. He had his own set of beliefs and he was so strong in his identity but he was also just sweet and loving and helpful. He did so much for Scott. I wish there was a spin-off book on Trent because I would love to read more about him. He was just a side character in this but he really stole the whole book for me and I just really loved him. Another character that I wish, I wish we got more time with was Scott's dad. He makes a very small appearance at the very end of this book and just the things that he said made me want to know more about him it made me want to learn more about his story i understand why the author didn't spend more time with that character the arc of this book had pretty much ended by the time that scott's dad made a reappearance but also i just really wanted to get to know that character more and it was just one of those small appearances that just meant so much scott is iranian american and that also plays into his journey and the experiences that he has as well i just really enjoyed seeing that perspective one thing that I was debating whether I liked or didn't like was Scott's DC adventures. At first I felt like he should be concentrating more on the grit aspect of his journey but then I saw what those adventures did and although they were kind of impromptu and spontaneous they really opened him up in a way that I wasn't expecting and I just really enjoyed seeing that afterwards in retrospect. The atmosphere of DC was so realistic, it was so believable, I loved it so much. I used to live near the DC area and I just felt like I was back in DC while I was reading this and you feel like you're right there with Scott. The streets that he's walking on, the facilities that he's walking into, it just felt so real and it brought me straight back to DC which I really loved. So those are all the parts of the book that I really enjoyed. So overall, three star read. I would recommend it if you're looking for a quick book that's going to take you out of a reading slump. This is a book that took me out of a reading slump which is something that I'm so incredibly grateful for. That is the book that I picked up from the Damarest House and Browder Bookstore. I really enjoyed reading that. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! Those days made